What is going on, guys and girls? It's your guy, the Eighty Magazine. Welcome to the second vlog episode of my channel. This vlog is going to be based on my interest in, in MLB umpires. But before we begin, um, I do want to say that this vlog will become... I mean, not will become, but it, it's going to be a good vlog. So, um, as we start today, um, if you guys have any questions for me about um, sporting interests or anything like that, um, let me know in the commenting minutes below. Um, also, if you like what, what you see by my reaction videos, by my discussion videos, by my uh, vlogs, subscribe. I'd greatly appreciate it. I'm, I'm trying to reach 1,000 subscribers to get the community feature unlocked on my, on my phone so I can uh, write little posts and updates for you guys about my videos if there's a reaction video coming up. Or if there is a, uh, or if there's a vlog coming up or, or anything like, like that. For right now, you guys can follow me on Twitter at the Ethan 18 for, for more information. Um, so let's get started with this vlog. Um, so some people might not know this. I mean, everybody that I've talked to know this. Like, um, I am a fan of I I am a fan of, of MLB umpires. And some people might be asking me, why the hell are you a fan of MLB umpires? They're just referees. Well, the answer behind that is, these umpires are very different. You know, each has their own stance. Each has, has their own strike three. Each has their own strike one, strike two. Each has their own style of, of how they implement the rules. Although all umpires implement rules the, the same way. Um... It is very it is very interesting to talk about how good that it, that 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 is. So as we look through some of the best umpires that did this game for years, there's been one like Joe West, which we'll talk about later on. Uh, we're gonna start talking about my, some of my favorite umpires, and not in alphabetical order. They're gonna they're gonna be all in. It, all in a random order, but of course, when you consider exactly what each has done during their careers as umpires, like they called a perfect game, or they did a World Series, or they crew chief the World Series, or they crew chief crew chief an LCS or a wild card or a division series, or they crew chief a big moment, or they did something like that. Um. Also, we'll get into my biggest problem with with, with umpires and MLB right now. Con, con, considering umpires um, pl uh, where they are in the game, so and I'll explain that what what, what, I, what I mean by, by that in a little bit. So we're gonna start by talking about um, we're gonna go through the we're gonna look on Wikipedia at the MLB umpires list. And we're gonna look through, and we'll see which ones I like, and which ones I, which ones, I um, have a thing on. So, list of major league umpires in, in MLB baseball. So, we're gonna look at the current. So the active umpires are in green. The no longer actives are in white, and the so um, as we look at it right here, my first umpire we're going to talk about today is in the B section, and his name is Ted Barrett. So Ted, MLB umpire from two thousand to 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 right now, he's still doing it today. He is an umpire in the, in this World Series, believe a believe, believe it or not. He was um, crew chiefing the 2018 World Series. He was behind the plate for the 18 inning Red Sox Dodgers 18 inning thriller when when Max Muncie walked that game off in in the 18th inning, um, which is very it's a it's a good it's really cool because I think. Ted, I mean, he his stance. I'm, I I don't want to do the stance because it's going to require me to move my camera, but I, I'm going to explain the stance. 
he put he he kneels and he puts his hand right below to his heart and he puts his it's like a you look at Teddy and he kind of just does this with his hands and he kneels down and then he, then he does this for a strike he now not that I'm good at imitating strike calls for umpires I'm very good at that I've done I've I've done imitations for many years. I mean, not many years, but I've been doing it for a long while now. Um, probably, a prob probably, probably a few months. So, um, so something about Ted Barrett. I just had to make that side note about my impression skills. Um, so, I like he also crew chiefed in the 27, 2018, I think. I'm thinking 2017 or 18 All Star, 20 yeah 2018 All Star game, and he crew chief that game and um, there he was and he and there were 10 home runs in that game combined from five from both teams. So as we talk more about Ted, his um, His resume is pretty steep if we look at the resume that he has done. Um, he has crew chiefed in the um, so he's been in one, two, three, four, five wild card games. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve division series. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. League Championship Series. And in, and in one, two, three, four, five World Series, including this season. And he also did the All-Star Game in 2007 and 2018. So, um, he... So, Ted, I don't, I don't, I don't really think about much umpires, and they just think uh, they have to just do something a little bit different with their with what they do. I mean, umpires are so different, you know. Stand like I talked about in the beginning of the video. Um, I think what happened with Ted. I mean, he's a really good umpire. You know, he had. He's done so much during his career. I mean, he's still doing he's still doing it today. But he has the agility to just do it at the age of um, at the age of fifty six. I mean, from no he's from no doubt about he debuted in nineteen ninety four. So he does the strike three. Just does this strike three, and then that way with a strike with a point finger. Um, so, our next umpire is not anywhere, is actually, believe, believe it or not, this umpire is in the, it's, is in the, um, is in the C-section, Phil Cuzzy, uh, he went, uh, he is not a crew chief, but he is along. He's worked three league championship series. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven division series. He has umpired in one World Series and one wild card game. Um, something I like about Phil Cuzzy is that he wears powder blue when he's behind the, the plate. And I really like when umpires wear powder powder blue for some weird reason and some people might ask me like why do you like that color and I remember and this is going to come out because I'm talking about this a vlog so I'm going to share personal stories for vlogs only that 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 was the rule I made in episode one I remember going to a cardinal game in 2019 and I remember looking, I I was sitting in the outfield, like way up in the outfield. And I remember um, 
sitting, I remember looking, I couldn't see it that well, well because of the umpire. I, I was watching it on, I think, or I was looking at the screen at the Bush Stadium uh, Jumbotron, and I saw the blue color t-shirt for all the umpires. And, I, and, and I'm like, wow, this is awesome. This, this is a lit color. And ever since then, I have had the and I've had the obsession with all umpires wearing powder blue T-shirts, and and when I spot when I say, "Hey, they're wearing powder blue T-shirts," yes, yes, so I'm kind of I'm kind of excited about that. So, um, I learned it from Jared Davis, who we'll talk about in a, in a in a little bit in a little bit. He's my he's one of, he's one of my other favorite umpires. He. They he said it depends on what the crew chiefs feel comfortable wearing, and I know that Tom Howie will talk about him as well, and Dell Scott too. They like to wear powder blue when when they're behind the plate, so that means so that basically means that that they're comfortable with it, like there's nothing weird about it. So, um, as we, so I mean that I mean that game. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna write all my favorite umpires, but I'm gonna continue my story. That that really showed up a lot when I watched umpires really just skilled up, and I'm like, um, and I and I tell and I tell many people, you know, you know um, and and, I, and I'm not gonna say who I'm gonna came about by the way. I'm just, I'm just gonna say some people. Um, so I kind of tell some people that I like the color powder blue on the Empire because it kind of shows who they are. I mean, they can wear black when they want to, but but I think it's really cool that they wear that color. And, and I think it's really cool that they do. So as we think about that, you know, I, I really have a good sense for that. Um, since I won't, my favorite, if we look at my favorite umpires in this league, I'm, I'm, I'm naming like random umpires. I want to go down to the G section of my thing on my on Wikipedia and look at Greg. Oh, oh no, I have to go to scroll back up to the C's. Um, he's not active anymore. He, he retired in 2019. Um, you guys probably know who I'm talking about. If you guys don't, um, why is he opening it? It seems like he's not on here. Oh, wait, yeah. Okay, I looked up. His name is Gary Cedarstrom. And I, this is where my problem with umpires begin because, um, and I'm not saying my problem with umpires meaning they're not, like, Problems with with, with 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 the appearance behind the plate. I'm not saying the appearance in the series or appearance in anything. Talk about appearance behind the plate. So, Gary Cedarstrom, one of, one of my top three favorite umpires, is he 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 did it from 2000. Um, he did it from. 1989 to 2019, which is about 30 years, combining his American League to the Major Leagues. Um, so, one thing that they did correctly, um, or one thing that he, I liked him a lot as an umpire because he he was behind the plate when David Freeze, my favorite Cardinal player, hit the walk-off, hit, had the comeback in Game 6. Um, he was behind the plate when the, when the Braves beat the Dodgers in game three to force that pivotal game four in the 2018, um, NLDS. He was behind the plate in the 2019 World Series. Um, he was also behind the plate in an All-Star game. So he, 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 he has a lot on his re resume, two All-Star games. Four wild, three wild card games, a lot of division series, a lot of World Series, a lot of League Championship series. So I remember G Gary um, 
when I was watching the 2015 World Series, it only went five games because the World, because the Mets didn't play that well, I think, in my opinion. I'm not disgracing any Mets fan out there, but I'm just saying that um, I didn't see him go behind the plate, and, and I was pretty pissed about it, and excuse my language, but I was pretty pissed about it because, you know, I believe in my mind, and 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 and, and this is a theory, guys, Crew chiefs are required, and, and 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 this has always my, been my rule. If I if I was commissioner, crew chiefs are required to work a game three of of of, of, of a World Series. It doesn't have to be. You know, I know I know umpires are specific, but a crew chief has to work a game three. It can be anywhere from, you know, and this took a while because in twenty fourteen. The crew chief Jeff, Jeff Kellogg didn't work until Game Six behind the plate, so the, so that really didn't work. Because I, I looked it up on BaseballReference.com, and, and I remember looking at it. And I'm like, you know what? That this is stupid. Why? You you umpires are not you umpires are supposed to work every World Series Game Three behind the plate. Back then, before they had replay. Crew chiefs would always work game one and a game seven. It depended if the if the series got to a game seven. But they would always have in game one it would be crew chief, first base umpire, second base umpire, third base umpire, left field umpire, right field umpire. They would go in that order for all six games. And then if it got to a game seven, it would it would reset back to that order. And I realized that when that when Gary didn't do that game six or or that series against when the when the Royals played the Mets, um, I wasn't so I was I wasn't so satisfied that he didn't work the plate because I want I want to see his skills with his cool face mask that he has on. It's like a silver mask plating, and. Um, and he's and he just stands like this. He's like, ha, ha. So you can see my hand. He's like pulling through like a crossbow back like this. And one thing that he, I mean, there, 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 there's just something about it that really doesn't make make sense to me. But now in 2019, I saw him work that in Game Three, Washington and Houston. Um, so we're looking at, and this is something that I really find to dear today, is that when a when um, you know Gary also when he worked the I wasn't. I'm. I was pretty sad that I'm not there for any of his games, but I, but I, but I was too young to kind of like baseball that much. I started liking baseball when I in 2017. So I really got to really know the players more rather rather than rather rather than the umpires, and that's why I'm doing this vlog today. Um, so. Gary, I mean, besides all this talk about Gary, you know, I like him. He's retired now. I kind of miss him being behind the plate and doing his strike threes and his uh, being the crew chief. That that really stunk that he retired. But what the hey, age comes comes into play. Um, Jerry Davis. He is he is a crew chief also behind the plate. He is a um, well known. Um, he has worked in at least uh, oh no this is is it Jerry Davis or Jerry Lane oh yeah Jerry Davis yeah I'm trying to think because there are two Jerry's I'm going to talk about today Jerry David, Dave, Dave Davis and Jerry Lane um, so Jerry Davis worked he's still working now Um, did he seriously retire? Hold on. No.
So, Jerry Davis, um, I, re I remember, I remember well, he, he was in the, he was in one, two, three, four, five, six World Series, my favorite being 2017. He was in a bunch of league championship series, a bunch of division series, three wild card games. But he wasn't the he he was the crew chief in a lot. I don't know how many crew chiefs he was, but he was in three wild card games, um, four all star four all star games. So Jerry Davis has this unique. Um, he's what he wears number twelve when he is um, working. And he puts his hands on his hip. He puts his hands on his knees and kind of kneels down. And he just does this for a strike. He just punches his hand out. And if for strike three, when it's looking, he just does this. He just cross pose like this. Um, so he crew chiefed. It was a very weird scenario with with him because he believe 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 it or not, guys. In, the, in 2015, when he worked the division series of the Royal of the Royals and Astros, he appeared in the last game, and this is what I talked about with Gary when I said that this is a problem that umpires should work game threes in any series. I'm not talking about regular season series. I'm talking about postseason series, and um, you know that is not something that I like to. Oh, he was. Oh, he's from St. Louis. Um, it's really frustrating when um, it just turned over. It was. It, it, it was frustrating um, because he 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 had the right idea, but you know you know um, it's what they wanted to do. I don't really. I'm, I'm just really surprised that they don't even do it. So, um, as we continue on with our list, Gary, um, let's take a look back. Let's look at more umpires. Um, in the E section, there's nothing in the E's, nothing in the F's, nothing in the G's. Tom Hallian. Uh, this umpire, uh, when he's wearing powder blue all the, all the time. I probably don't think he'll wear it in tomorrow night's uh, World Series game, but um, he he crew chief he's the crew chief in this World Series, which is pretty awesome con considering what um, you know what he has to do every every game, but. It's a funny story, guys, because Tom Hallian, I actually um, was at a game tw in 2019 in late September, Cardinals and Brewers, sitting on, in the outfield again, like I was when when, when I saw Cuzzy. They were wearing blue, like which I love, and um, I told somebody and and I said, crew chiefs choose what they want to wear. It's not depending on rule on league rules it's depending on what the crew chief wants to wear and um one thing that i learned out of out of that spite is that let's move my, when i position my phone there we go i'm just going to move my face to the front of my light so it doesn't shine um so one thing that i learned out of that i'll just do like i'll just do it like this and uh so one thing that i learned out of, out of that is that you know you, you know he I remember watching him, and he was at replay when he was replaying a play, and <laughs> I have to find the moment when he did that because that was so funny. I I was I was I was so mad at him for oh, the 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 call stood, which basically means that there was no clear evidence to confirm or, or overturn the call on the field. So I'm gonna look at that again. 
it, it it was it was a cardinal game by the way it wasn't a um it was a cardinal game but let's but let's just take a look at it because um it was post it was pre covid so it was september 2019 september 13th um Let's look at the summary of the game. Let's look through what we have here. Strikes of a play, strikeout. Um, Tom, uh, let me, I, I, got, I still got to find it. It might be a minute. Hold on, guys. I'm sorry. I can just do it the easy way. Scroll through each inning. Um, I'm trying to think. Or it might have been... Um, Single, home run, Goldschmidt. Uh, let's see. Randy Rosarinas called out on strikes. That's the... Um, I, don't, I don't know if it was... It was this game, and I swear to God it was. Or, yeah, I think it was, because I now had more interest in, in umpires than I did before. Um, I gotta find out which play it was. I don't know if it was any, um, or if it wasn't, then I probably am just talking nonsense. But I, I'm telling the truth. I did see it. Um, so let's see. That's okay. Colton Wong, Goldschmidt homers. That is a three-run homer. Let's see, Tom Halley in behind the plate. So I got, I got it was, I swear to God it was this game, but I can't seem to find out which play it was. I'll have to just, I'll, here's what I'll do while I'm talking about Tommy. Uh, I'll just watch the game again and, and find it manually. So this, so, um, this is really interesting because when, um, That was the grand slam by Goldschmidt that that kind of capped the game for the Cardinals. Speaking of the Cardinal, they speaking of the Cardinals, they hired a new a new manager, which really is bad because I wanted Schilt to stay, but you know, you know I don't I have no doubt in my mind that there was a big problem with that. But the only thing that didn't make sense to me was. Um, Forty-seven thousand and a Mamari batter's face. Where was that challenge? I swear to God, I saw that. Um, let's just look at it. I'm just gonna keep looking. Um, I'm gonna keep this in the video because I like to kill a lot of time, and I want this to be like a very long vlog. So, um, as I think. I don't know if it was um, I think I did I, I don't think I, I don't think I recorded it I may just have to, to do this the hard way and just press 30 30 30 several times but I can find it recording Yeah, they're all wearing blue. This is what they're usually doing. Um, I did take it. I did actually, I remember deleting all these videos off of one of my social media pages because, um, or not, I, I was at the game and I was recording it and um, I deleted it due to space on my page. But I, I, if I can't find it, I think I'll probably remember it. Um, so... He there was a call. I think he was out, and they were saying something about um. And the the replay came came, came back came back inconc inconclusive. It was over. It was overturned. It was um. It, the call stand. 
standard. So I'm like, come on, Tommy, how can you how how can you do that? And the person next to me was like, how do you know these umpires? And I would tell him, I looked on my phone and I found a thing on an app that shows who the umpires are each game. And the person's like, oh, wow, that's awesome. Um, and that person is my father. But um, hopefully he's behind the plate tomorrow night in tomorrow's World Series game. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to him doing a good job. So our next umpire is Angel Hernandez. And some people might disagree with, with, with my pick here. But Angel Hernandez being the best um, umpire that he is, he he is not working this World Series. And a funny fact is about Angel Hernandez at, before we uh, before I continue before we before I read the fact I'm, I'm just going to say um, I, I'm going to respond to his critics to, in this little segment about Angel Hernandez. Worked three All-Star games, a lot of Division Series, a lot of League Championship Series, and two World Series. Now, some people say, and I must critique a lot of people here, some people say Angel Hernandez is the worst umpire ever. Do I agree with that? No, no, I don't. Here's why I don't agree with that. Because I think... When you consider what he does, I mean, there is a lot of talk about him saying, oh, I got this wrong, you know, I did this and all, and, you know, I messed up and I'm sorry. But the fact is, in 2018, 2006, and 2011, he, he, he was listed as the worst, as the third worst MLB umpire in Sports Illustrated player polls. A 2010... ESPN survey showed that 22% of major league ball players asked identified Hernandez as the worst umpire in the major leagues. So, and and then 2016, 2017, 2018, when they were re re reviewing calls, all of his 78% of his calls got overturned, and. That is like, um, that, that was just funny. Um, so if we look at, um, oh, huh, I'm not going to read that, but, um, I remember um, there was one time when Angel Hernandez, I think I 2018, I was at a game. That was the first time I really got to know baseball. I went to a game. I was sitting in the in a party box, and I remember um, he was he was behind the plate for the game where Colton Wong, before he got traded, before he signed with Milwaukee, hit a home. Hit a home run in the tenth to win the game. Cardinals were down six to four, entering the ninth inning. Cardinals came back and won that game eight six, and uh, he was behind the plate. Bill Miller was the, the crew chief. We'll talk about Bill in just a minute. But I was very surprised. I mean, heck, um, that was pretty cool. So. Let's move on to my other favorite umpire. Um, it is in the Nobody in the K section. Jerry Lane. I was going to talk about him next. Jerry Lane, he is still a crew chief to this day uh, at the age of uh, 63. He's still, um, his, he has crew chiefed in five league championship series, two world series, 11 division series, area, and one wild card game. 
in three All-Star games. But the crew chief for the for his third All-Star game was Dale Scott. So, um, and we'll talk about Dale in 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 a little bit. So I remember when I remember talking about Jerry watching him do the World Series in 2011. And Jerry, of course, being a great umpire, he did two games because the, like I talked about earlier, before they had replay, the umpires would be first. It would be home, crew chief, first base, second base, third base, left field, right field umpire, and then they'd go back to the game one umpire and crew again, like they would. Um, they they did that until replay in 2014 was it established um, and and I will also end in this vlog as a special bonus do a video explaining replay and uh, that will be at the end of my favorite umpires list we're gonna, and, we're, and uh, you guys I will post the playlist of replay videos that MLB has posted on their on the YouTube channel with those um, with all the replays of every team 2014 on I think so <coughs> so Jerry Lane um, being a great umpire like he is you know I like him I, I, I watched him do a game Cardinals and Marlins he crew chiefed the that series and he did the second game of that series um, he really does do a good job with um Making sure it's all I'm making, and I'm gonna say this about all umpires. They 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 do their job, and they're really good at it. Some hate some people might hate them, but I don't. And for any umpire watching this, if this is a major league umpire watching the this video, I just want to say thank you. Um, and I'll keep going on that that in a, in a minute. But Jerry um, Jerry Davis. Um, he is really a good umpire. I mean, think about what he's done. Um, I mean, that's cool. Um, so, So that being said, you know, Jerry has a good line of defense here, but I think one thing to consider about Jerry is his umpiring skills are very good. I mean, there's no doubt about it. I mean, I think about Jerry David, uh, Jerry Lane. Um, he stands with his feet, puts his hands right in the middle, and he's like, hi. Oh, no, hi. I did it correctly. My voice, my my throat wasn't height enough to that. So let's look at the, uh, that was a good series there. Let's look at the, um, let's keep on going. He, um, and let's keep going. Let's look at the M's Bill Miller. Um, It'll probably be in the B I I L. Yeah, there. Yeah, there. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Bill Miller. He is a crew chief. He has crew chiefed um, at least one World Series. Uh, he has appeared in. He was behind the plate when the Royals came back in twelve innings, but like, but Jerry Davis was the crew chief. But he was behind the plate in two thousand fourteen. He was behind the plate. He was the crew chief when the Dodgers won their World Series. He was the crew chief when um, he was the crew chief in the in this recent ALCS. Um, he also, 2019 League Championship Series, I think he was the crew chief, I'm not really sure about that, but 
He's very, he's a good umpire. I mean, think about what he does. I mean, Bill Miller also was a, was the crew chief in that game, in that series I went to, Cardinals and um, Red, no, Card, uh, Cardinals, because I, 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 I almost said Red Sox. But um, he was the he was the crew chief of that series, and um, all and I'll explain about, about what the what they do in a little bit. But was the crew chief in that series? Um, so let's look back. Let's uh, ac actually let's keep going down the list to um, the Alan Porter. He's one of my other favorites. He uh, sang different stands. He's like, hey. Hey. oh yeah, Bill Mo really quick strike. He strike. So he's. I don't like that strike three. I mean, he has to. I think strike three should be. Like, ha. Or three. Instead of uh, like an angry. When he does that, he it sounds like he's mad. I don't think that should be a good strike three, but. He just he does what he wants, like I say. Umpires do what they want. It's not their, it's not my obligation. If I were a commissioner, I'd just say, umpires have to wear powder blue on Father's Day, and other things. What 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 Three division, division series, uh, three wild card games, one World Series in 2019. So, It was very interesting though, because Alan Porter, it's like, hey! Hey! so that, so that, so that's him. But I don't really know much about Alan Porter. I think he, uh, he was behind the plate for a game in which the, um, it was very weird about Porter. I think he's, uh, he's, I mean, all umpires are great, but considering, you know, there's a lot of drama. So let's continue our discussion. There wasn't much about Alan Porter that really interests me. I mean, I like him, but he's... Um... Let's go down to the S's. Um, I don't think there's anybody in the R's that I have a... Oh, Jim Reynolds. Oh, yeah, Jim Reynolds. Oh, 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 no, not Jim Reynolds. My bad. I'm thinking Jim Wolf. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about Jim Wolf in a little bit. But let's go down to Dale Scott. He's one of my all-time favorite umpires. He's number one on my list. Gary is number two. And um, I think Tom was my third. So Dale Scott. Um, he, I mean, let me look at his, 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 res, his resume. Is not in the, uh, it's not on Wikipedia. Oh, wait, it is. He has worked in a lot of the series. He has worked six league championship series and 12 division series, which is very big for him, and three all-star games, calling balls and strikes, and two World Series. So, Dale Scott... Um, you know he wears blue when all the time when he when, when he's behind the plate. He was behind the plate when Jose Batista hit the bat flip. He was behind the plate when he had, when he had his first, first protest. Um, and that protest, um, I'll, I'll talk about the protest right now because that's in Dale Scott's resume. Um, it doesn't have to, to do with the replay video. I'm gonna the replay. I'm gonna talk about it later. But um, a ball. Hit Sin Su, it was a two two tie in the top of the seven. Sin Su Chu was up the bat, and um, so there was a ball, and Sin Su Chu has had his bat out. 
getting ready, 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 ready to hit. And the ball immediately hit the bat. And Ruben and Odor ran to the plate. Dale Scott called time. Mistakenly, he admitted to uh, his crew and his and the Sportsnet announcers that he was doing a live stream on. He admitted that he made a mistake, and he said, "You know what? I owned that mistake, and I know um, it, it was pretty weird." And he has a lot of stories to tell. I will post a link to Dale Scott's interviews um, in the description. Both interviews um, with Talking Baseball. For those of you who want to watch it. The. Um, so one thing that he was talking about. He said I made a mistake. They went. They, they talked it over. And the run counted. After about. I would say 10 minutes. He, uh, John Gibbons, the manager of the Blue Jays, decided to um, have... Uh, John Gibbons wanted to protest the game because the Empire screwed it up. Now, when I watched the game myself, I understand why John... I don't get why John would protest the game. It's just over like a judgment call. It's not over... A, the, the, the rules of, of, of a protest is you can only protest a, a judgment call. Or, or, or protest a rule that has been improperly applied. Not a judgment call. So if Dale Scott says, I made a mistake, the run scored, that's his ruling. So the protest was lodged, and he had a long discussion with with John Gibbons and then that was it um, he did have a he did have several concussions in his career which which forced him to to retire um, Dale has a lot of stories to tell including a time where he met George W Bush in 2001 the time where he, where he ejected Billy Martin back in 1988 um, so that was very um, other oh, they, oh, they didn't put that there so I am not going to talk about his personal life because that's way too personal but I'll let him tell you his full story on part two of his inter of his of his interview but that will not be discussed on camera today due to, I don't like what happened. But um, I respect him for who he is as, as a person and as an umpire. So just for that purpose, I'm not going to talk about it. But um, let's go to um, the... Let's go, let's go to Larry Vanover. Um, he, this guy has worked... Three World Series, one wild card game, two All Star games, um, one League Championship Series, one World Series. So he has um, he he has the same his strike three as he just does like a little step, and his book comes up. He's a crew chief. Um, so basically. I don't know how they do the crew. I wonder if the crew chief picks the members of, of, of their crew. But, you know, as we consider what happened with that, I think I think they, I think they he did the right thing. I mean, Dale Scott, I wouldn't know Larry, uh, no, Larry Vanover being, you know, who he is as a person. It's all about, you know, um, I will actually do a reaction video of the replay to explain to you guys. A little bit more clearly on that so I will find a video and explain the replay rule um, with my favorite crew chief we're gonna we're gonna do a long video so we can explain the rules of, of the uh, stuff so um, Larry Vanover one of the one of the best um, so with that being said um, let's move on to um, our final umpire, I don't know if there's anybody in the Z's or the Y's I like, 
X, Y, no, nobody from, from Z. So our last umpire we're going to look at is Jim Wolf. Um, he has he has worked in two World Series, um, a lot of league championship series, a lot of division series, and three wild card games and one All Star game. Um, so Jim Wolf is um is well known. I mean. Or not well known, but he's very, he's just good at what he does. There is a lot of things there with 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 him that I like. You know, um, I don't have any big issues with with it, but you know, there is a lot of talk about that. So, as we continue on, I do want to mention that Jim Wolf is really good. So, um, I don't have much on those umpires except my favorites. So uh, thank you all. Um, I'm not going to thank you yet because the the, 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 the the vlog is not over. I have to, I have to explain the replay part. Um, so I'll actually explain in the in the reaction video I'm going to do in just a moment. So thank you all for watching this vlog, and I will see you guys next time.